guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm not gonna show you a recipe for a meal. I'm gonna show you a recipe for a dessert called bread pudding. Now, if you've never heard of it, seen it, or had it, it's not exactly pudding. It's not pudding, so don't think jello pudding. It's more along the lines if cake and French toast got together and had a baby, kind of, maybe. <laughs> but it is a baked good, and this is a really easy, easy recipe, guys. Um, it's a level one, a skill level of one for baking, and that's my kind of baking, because I really don't like to bake too much for two reasons. One, there's a lot of moving parts in baking. It's more of an exact science, and if something is off, at all, it can affect the outcome of your baked good. So if you measure improperly, a little too much, a little too little, that'll affect the outcome of your baked good. Uh, if you have inexpensive bakeware, like me, because I don't do a lot of baking, that will affect the outcome of your baked good. It'll bake it uneven, probably, maybe. The center will still be raw and the top will be browned or the bottom will be browned. Your oven plays a role in the outcome of your baked good. Not every oven is perfect, so you'll find ovens that have cold spots, that have hot spots, that don't maintain a proper temperature all the way through the cooking time, like my oven. Um, that affects the outcome of your dessert as well as the weather. If it's a rainy day, like today, or if it's a very dry day out, that will affect the outcome of your dessert. So, I guess I'm a control freak. I don't like not being able to like really be in control of what's going on and really it's like the oven's got most of the control. Also, I'm not a huge sweets person. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, every once in a while I do get a sweet tooth and this is a great recipe for that because most of you guys out there are gonna have all the ingredients in your house already to make a basic bread pudding. Now, today we're doing a brioche bread pudding with a vanilla sauce, but seriously guys, you can do this with plain old sliced white bread, Wonder Bread, French bread, um, like we're doing brioche, challah bread, any kind of bread you want. Um, you can also put a whole bunch of different things in your bread pudding from different kinds of nuts, dried fruits, even fresh fruits like bananas or apples. You can serve this uh, warm or you can serve it chilled or you can serve it room temperature. You can put a vanilla sauce on top, a chocolate sauce, a, a bourbon sauce, a caramel sauce, ice cream, whipped cream. Uh, really, if you have some plain white bread, some sugar, some eggs, some cinnamon, milk or cream or half and half, you can make bread pudding. Now, like all my tutorials, at the beginning of this tutorial, I'll have an ingredients page listing all the necessary ingredients and the measurements. I will also put the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below. So, enough talking. Let's get cooking. Let's first start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Next, we'll cut up and cube our bread. So here I have a loaf of sliced brioche that I've just let sit out on my counter for a day to help dry it out. You want more of like a stale bread than fresh bread. Fresh bread has uh, just too much moisture in it. And in the end, your pudding can be like mushy. So use stale bread. All right, we'll just throw that in a bowl. And I'm just gonna cube up the rest of the bread. So there you have it, all done. To that, I'm gonna add some raisins. Now you can put dried cranberries or cherries or any kind of dried fruit that you like. Half a cup. And I'm also gonna add some nuts. Now I'm gonna be using some pecans, but you could do walnuts or almonds if you like. That's also half a cup. 
Okay, we'll just set that to the side because now we're gonna work with our uh, liquids. So here I have two cups of whole milk and we're gonna use a whole cup of heavy whipping cream. Now I'm also gonna add my spices, which is a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I probably should have just added this to the dry ingredients, but whatever. And I also felt compelled to stir it, which did nothing. In another bowl, we're gonna crack four large eggs. And just beat those up quickly. And to that, I'm gonna add 3 fourths of a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And just mix that all together. And now we're gonna combine the two liquids. So I'll just add the egg mixture to the milk mixture. Give that a quick stir. And now we're gonna combine the wet with the dry. So I'll just pour half of it over and then I'll toss it just to mix everything up nice and then I'll add the remaining liquid. And that's it. Okay, so here I have my baking dish. I'm gonna just coat that with some cooking spray. You could also use some butter. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure of the size. I think it's like eight and a half by 11-ish, somewhere in there. Honestly, any size bakeware in that range, like a nine by nine or nine by 13 will work. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm using. So just pour your mixture into your bakeware. It's gonna seem loose and wet, but that's what you want. So just push it down evenly. It's gonna dry out in the oven. And then I'll just pop that in the oven for approximately 45 minutes. So don't forget to set your timer. After 45 minutes, I'll check it and see if it's done by sticking a knife in. If it comes out clean, it's good, but this is still a little wet, so I'm gonna turn it and cook it for an additional five minutes. After five minutes, I'll check it again. The knife comes out pretty clean, so we're good to go. I'm gonna set this to the side to cool. Beautiful. Now let's start on our vanilla sauce. Here on the stove I have a pot, I put the heat up to about medium, and I'm gonna add one stick of butter to it. And here I have one full cup of granulated sugar. I'll just add that to the butter and stir it in. This is uh, pure vanilla extract. We're gonna add a half a tablespoon to that, and a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Then just stir that together and cook it until the sugar completely dissolves. Now your mixture will boil up some, so just watch your heat. But once your mixture has thickened, you can shut your heat off, the sauce is done. Now we're gonna plate the bread pudding and top it with our sauce and taste it. Okay, here it is guys, our bread pudding. And I put our vanilla cream sauce on top. Let's taste. Mmm. That soft, gooey bread. The pecan, the raisin with that sweet vanilla cream sauce. Mm. All you need is a little ice cream. Mmm. So very simple, yet delicious. I hope you guys try and enjoy this recipe, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And as always guys, until next time.